Revelation chapter 1 verses 5 to 8. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Jesus Christ is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, who has made us into a kingdom, priests for his God and Father, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming amid the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. All the peoples of the earth will lament him. Yes. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, the one who is, and who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. Near the end of his life, John received a vision from Christ, which he recorded for the use of the seven churches in Asia and for Christians throughout all history. This is the only book in the Bible that promises a blessing to those who listen to its words and do what it says. Others had risen from the dead, people who the prophets, Jesus, and the apostles brought back to life during their ministries, but later those people died again. Jesus was the first who rose from the dead in an imperishable body, never to die again. He is the firstborn from the dead. Many hesitate to speak about their faith because they don't feel the change in their lives has been spectacular. But you qualify as a witness for Jesus because of what he has done for you. Christ demonstrated his great love for us by his death on the cross for our sins. Jesus is portrayed as the all-powerful king, victorious in battle, glorious in peace. He is not just a humble earthly teacher, he is the one and only glorious God. Revelation chapter 1 verse 5, And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead and ruler of the kings of the earth. Christ's resurrection, his triumph over death, gives us the assurance that death is not the end for the faithful. At the transfiguration, Moses and Elijah, both faithful, who were dead many centuries before Christ arrived on earth, appeared and spoke with Jesus. Christ died at the hands of the temporary rulers of earth, but through his resurrection Christ will rule over them eternally. Submit to Christ not to lesser earthly rulers, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth. The three titles of Jesus call to mind the passion, the resurrection, and the praise of Christ. Christ was the Father's witness during his ministry because he revealed the Father perfectly, and crowned this testimony by the sacrifice of his life. Jesus, the first permanently resurrected, guarantees that the era of the resurrection of the dead is established in his person. The glorification of Christ, because of his resurrection, grants him all power over all creation. Psalm 89:28. I myself make him firstborn, most high over the kings of the earth, Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life, whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die.